What's up guys? Today, I'm gonna show you the oldest trick in the book. It's called patching tires or maybe plugging tires. It's one of those things that I've learned probably 10 years ago. It's very simple, but it's one of those simple tricks that I'm so glad that I know because it saved me countless times and gave me so many extra miles on tires that typically I would just have to replace on the spot. Um, as you guys can see, I do not have the garage anymore. So now I purchased a house and this is the space that I have to work with. This is the prelude. Keep saying I will do videos on it. I haven't. I purchased a Mustang reminiscent to my old Mustang. Still have the truck. And I purchased a Camaro reminiscent of my old black Camaro. And this is what I woke up to. Tire was low yesterday. Checked it out. Sure enough. Boom. Okay, so the problem with this is, let's see. This this wheel, you see how old the tire is, and first of all, so now I'm gonna do this with holding the camera. The camera stand. This car is gonna be a long term project. So yeah, this is the problem here. I think these are 19s, however, I do not have the freaking key for this. So besides showing you guys how to plug this, show you guys how to take care of taking this bad boy off without having the key for it. All right, stay tuned. We're gonna take a little trip to Advance. Okay, guys, went to Advance. First of all, they didn't have it. What I had in mind was those Gator Grip sockets. I was able to get it from Walmart, but they only have the small size. Even though it goes all the way up to 19, it fits on the lug nut itself. It does not fit on the wheel lock. lock. So let me show it to you guys right now. So the lug nut itself. Okay, yeah, so it fits on the lug nut, but this looks like it's, a, it's slightly bigger and it won't fit on there. So what I did, I went to order a bigger one that goes all the way up to 32 off of Amazon. Hopefully there's enough clearance here for me to fit it on there. So that part, uh, we'll have to wait. So looking at the tire, it looks like this screw is far out enough where I can actually maybe fix it while it's on the car. So what I did is just put a jack on there. I put like a wheel chuck on the front driver's side, make sure it doesn't roll back. And then we'll just make it happen while the wheel is still on the car. I did not buy a new kit, but what I'm going to be using is probably something that you guys have seen before. It's a combination of these two things right there. First, you take out the screw, then you clean the hole, and you put the little gummy thing in there and you stick it in there. So, let's get going. Okay. Talking about gummy thing. These are the ones, they're usually black, but it's an old set, it's brown, so we're going to do with that. If it's a... Uh, how you call this? If it's a nail, you're just probably gonna have to use um, vice grip pliers, but this is actual screw, so I can just unscrew it. Gonna probably hear that all the air escape from there in a second. I usually use vice grip pliers, but it's gonna be much easier doing it like this. All right, it's basically out. Actually, almost sounds like it plugged itself. Nah, it's still leaking. I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel it. Okay, 
So now I use this one. I know this is crazy. First time I saw it, I'm like, this make no sense because you make the hole bigger. So I'm gonna have to use two hands to do this. Find a place to put the camera yeah, on. This is on top of the Mustang. Looks like it gives pretty good flex. I mean, uh, flexibility, visibility. Yeah, that's what I'm using. already drilled the hole but typically I used to prep this first I completely forgot freaking making videos doing stuff impromptu don't usually do it anyway so you just slide this in there halfway so you play some games but it's fairly easy okay it slid halfway like the holes Rip. It's out. You guys can hear the air leak out. Stick this in there. Oh, and then you pull it out. it would look a little something like this you can lay it down or you can cut these edges and squeeze itself in there so there's no air escaping on the outside we'll put some air in the tire check your air pressure and bring it back down okay guys it's all done i know i should drive it for a little bit make sure it's well seated in there and it doesn't leak. You can pour some soapy water on it. See if it leaks. It doesn't. Put the cap back on. I know the tire did not come off. Um, that's just an emergency way to do it until the tool comes from Amazon. I ordered it off Amazon so I can take this off because basically I will get rid of those wheels. Thinking about some Z06s. Um, some Z06 wheels, or maybe just since this is supposed to be a project race car, that's why it looks like shit. The car's name is Goot, by the way, guys. I see the green, all rusty and faded, and a lot of brown. I think Goot is a <laughs> name that fits. I'll probably get like some slicks in the back. It doesn't need slicks, obviously, because it's slow as hell, but I need slicks at some point. So maybe I'll start with the Z06 wheels and then some. And which bring us to the actual question. Since I'm thinking of going remote mount turbo with this car and some nitrous to spool it up. And obviously I don't have money to do all of it all at once. You guys post in the comment section, which way I should go first, turbo or nitrous. And keep in mind, eventually it will be both, but which one, which one would you guys like to see first? turbo or nitrous let me know in the comment section please like and subscribe and welcome to the new episodes of vp motors and cycle